One question I get a lot, or that I have to ask rather, when I'm producing an image for folks here is what what purpose the, the, the image will have. Are you using this online, on the web, or is it going on Facebook, is it going on your website, or is it going to be something that's printed? Are you making a booklet, a pamphlet, a fly, or something like that? And it's an important consideration from the beginning because it will determine your color mode. And if you don't know what color mode is, that's uh, quite all right. It's, it's a little esoteric, but the, the difference is, and I'll show you up here in the image menu, under mode, we have a lot of options, and some of these are a little technical, but I'll, I'll, just, I'll just point out two that are, I think are important. By default, anything that you're working on on the web is going to be – anything that's on a, screen, on a screen, I should say, is going to be RGB, and that stands for red, green, and blue. It's the way that the screen projects any color at you through the re a red, green, blue spectrum. The other option I'll call out here is CMYK, and anyone who's had any history with printers may know this one. This is cyan, magenta, yellow, and the K stands for black. Because the screen displays color differently, of course, than a printed page does, those colors need to be loaded in a different way for you to visualize them. Now, if I choose on this image, if I choose CMYK, the difference is negligible as far as the screen goes. But if you're going to send a photograph or a flyer or something like that to a printer, then they need it in CMYK almost every time. So it's something to consider beforehand. Or if you've made something in RGB, it's not too late. You can always convert it within Photoshop to CMYK by choosing this option and then saving it before you send off your file. It's, it's just that easy. And like I said, within Photoshop, you'll see almost no difference. But if you send an RGB file to a printer, which you get back, you will definitely notice the difference. These blues don't look blue, or these reds don't look red, or, or something. Your logo colors are off if branding is important. It's always a very important thing to consider. So that's the introduction to color modes.